بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم now the next uh, there is one more thing what i'll do is whenever you load up the topology now by default when you start the devices when you click on the console now it comes with a default console application whatever is installed or whatever is set now this is purely because of the default console if you go to edit preferences and inside that there will be an option called console applications and there will be some default settings like it uses the solar putty dot exe which comes uh, automatically it comes nowadays with with your gns3 so it's going to use that particular console application for opening up the command line of any device so most of the ios devices or ios devices uses this application so mostly i'm not really good i don't really like this solar putty application of course there will be some optimizations or settings you can change so if you have a secure crt license you can go ahead and use that one or you can use any other any other uh, applications whatever you want so in my case i will be uh, i already have the secure crt installation so assuming you already have the secure crt and you activated the license and everything it's working that is something a prerequisite i'm expecting you to know now what i want is i want to change my gns3 topology to use the secure crt as my default uh, cli application so which is something i prefer uh, if you see my uh, normally uh, sessions i will be using that because it provides some tabs and some uh, clear vision of the things but of course i i generally prefer this i just wanted to show you the same option here as well now the first thing i'm going to uh, use the secure crt option now whenever you are using secure crt again you need to change this the default path as well now in my case we need to uh, figure out where exactly your secure crt application is installed so we need to go back to your program files the vandic uh, software secure crt now this is the actual path where your secure crt application is present now this is your secure crt inside this folder now we need to exactly set that path so secure crt.exe is the actual uh, actual file and it is present on your local device with the exact slashes make sure that you are giving the proper slash and rest of the things you don't need to disturb so just leave it as it is and make sure that you are giving the exact path for your application so once you set this uh, click ok now we have set our application so if everything is ok i should be able to open up to the console with my secure crt application and here you go you can see this is what i'll be using so this is my secure crt application and then i will be using the secure crt for most of my console applications and make sure that whenever you are uh, you want tabs always tick this option so that whenever you open up any other console it automatically comes in the next uh, tab which makes easy to view all the screens in one uh, window with the separate tabs but again this is something you cannot do with whether when if you are going for the cci labs or sessions where you have the default topologies you use some normal telnet connections but basically this is something very handy when you are practicing the labs and that's what i do and this is something uh, we can do setting up the secure crt there is one more thing i'll also add uh, the settings the default settings as well because you can, here you can see the settings the default will be the white background and the black fonts with the small fonts now you you definitely want to change you can go to the session options and here in inside the appearance you can go ahead and change now this is something you can change but when you do this this is going to change only for that particular uh, session but not for the future sessions like here if i just close all these connections and if you try to reopen the connection once again again you can see the same thing uh, repeats so probably you want to set with the settings always like i generally use a black background and the yellow fonts that's something i prefer which will be more uh, visible while you're practicing so if you want to make some changes you can do it from here so we need to get back to the options and from the global options we need to go and select the appearance i think uh, the default session first you have to select the default session now the default session means uh, anytime you open up the secure crt application you will be 
you want this particular settings so go to default settings and now from here now you change whatever the options you want to change like mostly i change this to yellow and black and then the fonts i'll be using consolas that's a font i generally use with a bold and probably 14 or 16 depending upon the class generally when i when i do sessions or recordings generally i use 16 for better visibility but normally for for myself i generally use 14 14 so here you can say change to all the sessions click ok now once you do this now if you go back and open up the console this time if everything is okay i must be getting the settings according to that i can see show ip interface bit 16 is very big i think for my screen that's very big so i can go ahead and make changes in the future i don't want italic so i can go ahead and do the same thing global options and default session edit the default settings and then you can go back to your appearance and here i just want bold not italic and the font 16 will be sufficient sorry 14 will be sufficient i think i can go with that 14 font uh, there will be other options you can also use like terminal you can just disable the audio bell because every time you press a wrong command every time you press a tab there will be an audio bell at the back end you can disable that uh, which is something i generally disable that uh, apart from that I, I don't make any changes of course if you want you can just go through with all the options uh, read those options but generally i don't disturb any other options change to all the sessions and click ok and close the session and try once again uh, to verify these things so if i just quickly open up the console now here you can see it comes with these changes so of course you can even set the window settings as well uh, what is the width and the height you want uh, but generally i adjust that according to my requirement i don't need to do that even you can also set the window setting as well like what will be the width and the height uh, there should be some option terminal height and width uh, there should be some option you can see this is the size you can even adjust that i normally don't do that because i adjust according to my requirement i can simply drag and drag this one that will be more easier rather than calculating how much width and the height i require so i adjust according to my uh, requirements at that particular point of time that's something i prefer but it's something what I do generally, a similar way, if I try to open up the console of the remaining devices, the automatically they come in the new tab. And this only comes when you select this option. So always make sure that you select this option, tick this option. Uh, that, that makes automatically the new connection comes in the tabs. Now it makes very easy for me to switch between the windows while we are doing the labs.